Hi, my name is Darren McLernan. I'm a 5G solution marketing engineer for Keysight Technologies. Our customers have been telling us three main challenges that prevent them from moving forward in millimeter wave measurements. And in this short video, we'll take a look at some approaches to address those challenges. First, let's take a look at our equipment setup. On the signal generation side, we have a wideband arbitrary waveform generator whose bandwidth is wide enough to not only make a 5 gigahertz wide signal, but put it at a 5 gigahertz IF and make the whole thing from baseband so that a 5 gigahertz IF comes into a, a harmonic mixer head. The harmonic mixer head has a local oscillator at 14.75 gigahertz from this signal generator. Times six gives you 88 and a half gigahertz minus the five gigahertz of the IF makes an 83 and a half gigahertz signal that goes into the 110 gigahertz signal analyzer. And when it comes time to demodulate that signal, we will do that by taking the IF out the back of the analyzer into an eight gigahertz wide S-series scope. The first challenge that customers tell us about is sensitivity. They are trying to meet spectral emissions compliance masks. They're also trying to find spurs and problems at a very low level. With this system, you're able to get down to minus 150 dBm per hertz across the entire three to 110 gigahertz band. And that gives you the ability to demonstrate compliance not only for the 71 to 76 and 81 to 86 gigahertz bands that are specified today, but also to the coming regulations up to 110 gigahertz that will be published shortly. The second challenge is the ability to sweep across the entire range without spurs and with full sensitivity, which is hard to do with today's banded solutions. You're able to look at different artifacts with confidence and high sensitivity, and also have the flexibility as different spectrum allocations evolve around the world to take and adapt your measurements to wherever you need to go in one box. The new UXA signal analyzer is able to go from three hertz to 110 gigahertz allowing you full flexibility. Let's look at our spectrum at 83 gigahertz. Here we have the main signal bandwidth, but we also see the LO feed through terms of the times five and the times six LO terms. You can also continue looking for spurious emissions and oscillations and susceptibility throughout the band, which banded solutions might not let you do. Another challenge that customers bring us is the extreme bandwidths of today's 5G signals. The UXA signal analyzer is able to do one gigahertz of demodulation within the box. And if you need more than one gigahertz, you can take to an IF and digitize on an S-series oscilloscope and get over five gigahertz of spur-free bandwidth. This allows you to demodulate high order, fine quality signals at an EVM that was never even possible at these bandwidths. What you're looking at is a wide bandwidth signal with EVM that is unprecedented for an 83 gigahertz type band. In this short video, you've seen how the UXA 110 gigahertz signal analyzer has the spur-free sensitivity with wide bandwidth demodulation across the entire band to allow you to overcome challenges throughout millimeter wave. For more information, come to our website or contact your local Keysight representative. Thank you.